basically there are three major setups, main setups into uh, your quirks. You have pivot, which is a 180 degree turn on your takeoff leg. J step, which is running into it. Um, most people do double quirks, like without another setup as J step. And you have Euro step, and Euro step is a hybrid. It's so, like I use it as a 90 degree pivot almost like J-Step. If you do it right, you get enough power out of it to do pretty much whatever you want. So, that being said, for the actual cork itself, I think corks are like 90% swing, and like the rest of your body takes over the other 10%. But you need to swing as much as you possibly can, as high as you possibly can, as fast as you possibly, as you possibly can, and with the most power as you, as you can. Um, But you, as you swing, you want to swing up towards like between your nose and your ear, if you can. If you can't, in between, try and aim for your shoulder. But the goal for that is to get you with the most possible flip. Instead of using your arms to go all the way up like this, use your arms here and shoulder shrug. Like just bring your shoulders up. Because that, when you lift your arms up, your shoulders shrug up anyways. So instead of bringing your arms up and wasting all of this energy, if you just stay here with your shoulder and bring your arms to here, it's so much easier. And it makes, it makes a big difference because it keeps you up vertical more and makes you set more and gets you higher. Um, if you accompany that with your swing, it's you just get into a repetitive motion for swing throughs or you can really set your double cork and any other type of cork or anything like that. The trick. If you're struggling with corks, if this, that style cork does not work for you, gainers or um, rolling over the side a little bit, if, if that does not make sense for you, think about a raise. Swing up. As you start to roll over, turn your plant leg into a massive driving force to carry you over like a raise would. So, like, it's the if you watch Micah or Alex D. Um, if you watch their cork, I don't know if they think about it like this. I haven't talked to them enough um, about it, but if you watch them, as they roll over, Micah spots the ground almost the whole time. After he swings up and sees the ground, his left leg chambers, like doesn't chamber over, but his left leg weeds over, and he spots the ground again and follows out like a race. That is a massively important thing for for that kind of cork. You have to lead with your left leg or your, your landing leg. If you go to, to, if you twist to your right, you lead with your right leg, obviously. But you have to lead with that landing leg. Swing up as high as you can, but pull over with that landing leg because that's what's gonna get you that style of like the open and like instead of having that, your right, your swing leg be the driving force. It goes up to a point and then you rotate around that point. And that's why your left leg, your, your landing leg is so important. I keep saying left because I twist left. But treat it like a race. Think of it like a race. So swing up and like almost half turn. It's almost like a gainer half or a gainer Arabian. But you want to you want to treat it more like a cork. And then think about a race out.